guys welcome to another real ownership review from Car and Tech. I've been using this Bressa for the last couple of months for doing a real ownership review. The new Bressa comes with a new redesigned front face with projector headlamps and LED DRLs up front. It gets the K series 105 HP petrol engine which is smooth as silk. There are LED tail lamps which adds a touch of beauty to the rear of this machine. Both front and rear bumpers get diffuser like silver claddings. We also get side body claddings for that SUV-ish character. The ORVMs get auto folding and have LED indicators. Here the headlight units gets a chrome finish and individual compartments for the headlights. In the VXI trim, there were no fog lamps installed. Four alloy wheels were purchased extra from the dealer as this trim comes with steel wheels. The VXI trim gets a black roof lines while the higher trims get the silver colored ones. 198 mm ground clearance is an added advantage for the Bressa as bumps and potholes doesn't get into the way while driving. Reverse sensors are available for the VXI trim but a reverse camera was fitted as an accessory which I'll show you later. We get keyless entry for the Bressa here and push button start is also available. An extra seat cover was added as an accessory from the dealer itself. The interiors that is where the Bressa really needs improvement. The dashboard is black colored with silver linings near the glove box. Steering gets audio controls and we get a normal stereo unit with just Bluetooth and phone connectivity but no touch screen. There are a lot of storage areas and cubby holes to store things and as usual USB mobile charging. Surprisingly Maruti has given automatic climate control EC unit in this trim. We get two glove boxes in the front and hard plastics all over the dashboard. The reverse camera screen comes embedded in the rear view mirror which is of very low quality and visibility in daylight is very poor. I believe this is a VGA camera. When you come to the rear, we have adequate leg and knee room but there is no rear AC unit. One more advantage of the Brasa when you compare with rivals in terms of safety is a 4 star safety rating while recently the Kia Seltos only got a 3 star rating. We have 328 litres of boot space which is more than adequate for the Bressa. We also get luggage hooks and storage in the sides. We have a full size spare wheel with the toolkit neatly hidden inside the boot. When you come to driving the car, I would say driving dynamics has not changed much from the previous model but a little bit softer now. The McPherson struts on the front and the torsion beam with coil springs on the back do an excellent job in ironing out the portholes and the bumps. The robust quality of this car is where the Brassa shines when you compare to other cars from the Maruti stable. The ride is not as supple and stable as a Renault Duster I would say. The steering is much lighter and very less weight is felt. 
so this makes this practical for everyday traffic conditions to maneuver around cornering is very vague there is not much feel from the steering that is probably because of the less engine weight from the petrol engine now the star highlight of this car is a silky smooth petrol engine i think one of the best engines available in india it's so silky smooth and refined that it has the adequate bottom end of the naturally aspirated engine only thing the engine lacks is the mid range punch the tall gearing is mostly the culprit here the engine gets vocal only after 4000 rpm it pulls cleanly to 6000 rpm without any fuss or hesitation 0 to 100 comes up in 11.8 seconds the clutch and gearbox combination is absolutely brilliant that you feel you need an automatic transmission the clutch is so light and the travel is less that you almost forget that you are depressing the clutch pedal kudos to maruti suzuki for this awesome combination The gearbox is absolutely stunning. There is no notchiness when shifting gears and it is light and direct. I would say if you upsize the tires a bit more, you can get a much better ride quality. There is a better balance between ride and handling for sure, but sharp undulations on the road is felt inside the cabin, partly due to the soft suspension setup. Again I was amazed by the fuel efficiency of the Brassa. In mixed conditions the fuel efficiency shown in the MID was 17 to 19 km per liter which is absolutely mind blowing considering the size and weight of this car. Even if you drive it fast and rough this marvelous engine will return you around 14 km per liter. The brakes are sure-footed and stops the car without any fuss with sudden braking. The only area where I think the Brassa needs little improvement is with the suspension setup, the interior design and the plastic quality. Of course, towards the end of 2021, Maruti is again coming up with a new facelift of the Brassa which should be better to compete with rivals like the Kia Seltos. The VXI variant is a value for money choice provided we have a push button start keyless entry system but what it is solely missing is a touch screen unit of course there are lots of good 7 to 8 inch touch screen android unit with excellent sound quality available as aftermarket fitment and you can go for that in the 8 to 10k range so that's it for this review guys do hit the like button if you enjoyed this review and don't forget to subscribe for more real ownership reviews